Hello America, Tom Hand here with Americana Corner. Today we are discussing the Battle of Valcour Island. The British Army had spent three months in the summer of 1776 building a fleet to sail up Lake Champlain and assault American-held Fort Ticonderoga which defended the southern end of the lake. Colonel Benedict Arnold had spent that same time making warships to defend the lake and delay the British long enough to strengthen the fort's defenses. The two fleets were not evenly matched, as the British had 25 warships that were larger, more maneuverable, and carried more guns than Arnold's 15 vessels. To neutralize the advantages of the British fleet, Arnold, a successful sea captain prior to the American Revolution, wisely arrayed his ships across a narrow channel between Valcour Island and the New York mainland. On October 11th, British ships sailed up Lake Champlain and engaged the Americans. The fight lasted until sunset, by which time the larger British ships had greatly damaged or sunk their American counterparts. That night, the remaining American boats slipped through British lines, but Carleton caught up with them two days later and Arnold was forced to abandon his ships. It was now mid-October. After studying the situation, Carleton felt it was too late in the season to implement a siege of Fort Ticonderoga and retreated to winter quarters in Canada. By the time the actual invasion took place in 1777, the Continental Northern Army was more prepared. The result was a British disaster at Saratoga, which led to France's entry into the war. Thus. Despite losing the Battle of Valcour Island, Colonel Benedict Arnold's heroic efforts had purchased valuable time for the American cause. Until next time, may your love of country lead you.